Today I'm going to show you how to save a document in the user box on the Konica Minolta BISAB series. So for this example I have a PDF here. It's a brochure or a catalog of the Konica Minolta BISAB C652DS. So I'm going to open that up and uh, the way we're going to store that in the user box now is uh, we're going to prepare it just like we would print the document. So uh, I go and select File, Print, and I'm going to select my printer here. I've got a couple of different ones, so I select the right one uh, for this exercise, and I go into Properties, and you can see on my I've been using and con I've configured my tab. Uh, in this case to use uh, to have all my options on the front page. Uh, this output method, so that's the only difference in printing it and versus saving it in the user box. The output method is default set to print, but if I want to save a document in the user box, I change it to save in user box. I can also choose to save it in user box as well as print out a copy if I want to check it just to make sure that all the settings are right because uh, when you're saving it in the user box you're not only saving the document but you also save all the print settings related to that document print settings as in if you wanted to print it as a booklet for example folded and stapled it'll keep all those settings together with that document so you don't have to set it up every time so now I've selected save in user box I'm gonna click on user settings here because I'm gonna give this document the name you can see I've already filled this out before, so I'm going to call this document, so this is the document's name in the user box, so I've called it KM for Konica Minolta C652DS, so I know uh, what catalog I'm talking about, and you need to reference a user box number, and if you're not sure what the number is, because when you create the user box you refer to a name, the user box numbers start at 1 and move up, so if you have three user boxes they will be numbered one, two, three. So I'm going to select user box number one and OK. Now once I've done that I can configure this print to be the way I like it. So I want this to be auto color, so I want it to print in color. I want it to be in booklet mode. I want it center staple and fold, so I tick that and I want the original size in this case to be, I'm going to move that up to A3 because I want it to be on A3 folded in half and I'll just double check my settings make sure it's all correct so A3 size paper size is the same as the original so it'll be printed in A3 and in booklet mode auto color and center staple and fold so I'm happy with that I'll hit OK and OK again to save the, you can see it's now progressing just as if it's printing it but it's actually just saving it in the user box now. So once this is uh, done I'm now ready to go to the BISHUB. You can open the user box and see the document there and you can reprint this catalogue uh, at your convenience whenever you like. I hope that was helpful and uh, have a nice day.